Good morning and very warm welcome to everyone present here. I'm pleased to be part of the first international conference on chemical matters and environment preservation, which holds today in the University of Wurgla, Algeria. Uh, as you can see on the screen, my contribution is coming up from the reading and investigation of optoelectronic properties of the semiconductor SRS doped with V element. Uh, which is usually presented by me, Elag Bonwarda, a PhD student from LPTM Laboratory, University of Ghana, Algeria. It is divided into five main points. Firstly, I'm going to present a small introduction. Next, I will talk about method of calculation. After that, I will share results and discussion. Later, I will read a conclusion and end up by references. Now, the electron has a charge and spin with two orientation up and down. Practical electronics uses only the charge of the electron and the devices associated with it are very large, uh, slow, and with limited functionalities and capabilities. For modern electronics, also called spintronics, it exploits not only the charge but also the spin of the electron. Under such conditions, electronic devices become miniaturized very fast and uh, powerful, much improved functionalities and capabilities. So, among the attractive materials used in spintronic devices, we find the diluted magnetic semiconductors, which can be defined as the traditional semiconductors from two tips or three type elements doped with magnetic ions such as transition metals. Uh, in the other side, considering formation of TM clustering and difficulties in controlling the stoichiometry, these transition metals based half metal electromagnets have their limitation for practical application. Recently, doped alkaline air calcogenized with non magnetic elements at the anion seat show ferromagnetism and then important and lucid magnetic moments. So, in our work, the possibility of ferromagnetism in SRS binary with the inclusion of non-magnetic entities such as boron have been performed. To do so, we use it first principles, uh, all electron full potential linearized optimal plan with FPLAPW method within the density functional theory as implemented in the detailed code. WC approximation is used to create the exchange correlation potential. The input parameters are fixed at RMP max equal to 8 for the cutoff, L equal to 10 for the angular momentum expansion, and G max equal to 14 atomic units for the charge density. To study the doping effects, a one by one by one standard simple cell was constructed, which contains 8 atoms. And 8 by 8 by 8 K points are used in the first brilliant zone. We move to the results and discussions. To do structural properties, we have optimized the crystalline structure by calculating the total energy as function of the volume and fitted it into Birch Lunaga equation of states. Figure 2 shows the optimized crystalline structure and uh, the total energy ascension of the related volume for both non-magnetic and ferromagnetic states for our compound in which it is clear that the ferromagnetic state is the most stable as it shows the lowest energy. The given optimized latest parameter, the bulk modulus and the difference energy for our compound are illustrated in table 1 for visualization, in which it is clear that uh, the positive sign of delta E confirms uh, the stability in the ferromagnetic phase. The electronic properties, figure 3 illustrates the spin polarized band structure and total density of states of our compound. From figure A, we can see that uh, doping uh, the boron element in the SRS host matrix generates a magnetic semiconductors with uh, the majority spin being uh, uh, a direct band gap of 0 0.6090 electron volts and the minority spin being an indirect band gap in the direction gamma m. The figure uh, B also uh, presents the total density of states which is in accordance with the, the given 
event structure, the strong PP interaction between two states of ion atoms and two states of the doped element is responsible for the resulted character in this compound. In order to know the effects of doping on optical properties, we have calculated the real part and the imaginary part of the, ele the electric function and the absorption coefficient, which can be classified as the most important parameters. Figure 5 presents the optical data results versus the photonic energy on electron volt. A small value of the gap produces an important static the electric function. Epsilon 10, which is in good agreement with our findings. From the plot of the imaginary part Epsilon 2, we can remark that the maximum presents a maximum in the visible and ultraviolet region. The corresponding peaks are situated at 4 and 8 electron volts respectively. In figure C, we present the absorption data where we can clearly see that the main heat appears uh, around 9 electron volt with 115 coefficient uh, absorption in the UV range and uh, 114 absorption coefficient in infrared range. So our compound can therefore serve as possible effective shields in all electromagnetic spectrum of light, especially invisible and UV radiations. As conclusion, first principle calculations are performed to determine the structural stability, electronic properties, and optical response of the non-magnetic B doped binary calcogenide SRS at a fixed concentration of x equal to 0.25. The obtained results demonstrate that the compound preferred to stabilize in the ferromagnetic ground state. Further, the concluded band structure shows that the studied material is a semiconductor with the majority spin being a direct band gap. The optical response is described by the calculation of the absorption coefficient and the dielectric function, along with real and imaginary parts. Finally, the findings suggest that our compound is suitable for spindronics and photovoltaic applications. Thank you for your attention.